Hey everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, we will learn how can we make our own home automation system using our own MQTT cloud broker. In this home automation project, we are able to control our home appliances by a smartphone and also we can control it with manual switches and monitor the real time status on the smartphone. And this project will work from anywhere in the world because this is a cloud based MQTT broker. So let's get started. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB. JLC PCB is a well-known PCB prototype company in China. It is specialized in quick PCB prototype and small batch production. You can now order a minimum of 5 PCBs for just dollar two. For more details, check description. For this project, we need ESP32, high link AC to DC converter, volt relay, BC547 NPN transistor, IN54007 diode, 10 kilo and 1 kilo ohm resistor, two terminal connectors, female header, custom designed PCB. Ordering PCB from JLC PCB is very easy. Just upload your gerber file. JLC PCB automatically recognizes all the features of the PCB. Choose the PCB color and other extra features and after that click on save to cut and complete your order. After a few days, here are the PCB boards in the new blue box of JLC PCB. Now, solder the components on the PCB. After soldering the components, the PCB looks like this, neat and clean. Connect all the switches and bulbs according to the schematic diagram. For making of this home automation project, I am going to use Reax RYC1001 MQTT IoT Cloud Platform, which you can easily purchase from Amazon.com. Link is available in the description. So as soon as we make the purchase, we are getting our own credentials on our registered email ID. So we will be getting the username and password for our MQTT cloud platform, which you should keep confidential. This is the code for our today's home automation project. Download this code from description and open it in Arduino IDE. Now before uploading the code, you need to make few modifications in this code. First of all, you have to add this pub sub client library in your Arduino IDE. To add this library, go to sketch. Then include library, manage libraries. And here uh, search for pub sub client. Scroll down. We have to install this pub sub client library. Select latest version and click on install. Now close this window. Here in this section, enter your SSID and password of your router or hotspot and this MQTT server will be same for all so you don't have to change it then you have to enter the username and password which you have received in your registered email id from Reax. that's it after selecting write board and com board hit upload button to control the home appliances through a smartphone we also need a MQTT client in our smartphone for that i am going to use iot on off app this app is available for both Android as well as for iOS. So you can easily download it from App Store or from Play Store. Link for both available in the description. Now open this app. Tap on menu button. Then click on settings. Then click on configuration. Then tap on MQTT broker. Here you have to enter the MQTT server details like hostname which is iot.reax.com 
this will be same for all the users of react after that port will be 1883 and turn off this web socket after that click save broker to list now click on authentication option now we have to enter username and password that you have received on your email address then turn on this authentication after doing this tap on ready tap on ready again that's it if you have entered the correct details then the status should be connected now again tap on menu button go to dashboards then tap on garden now here first we have to delete all these gadgets so i will tap on edit and delete all the gadgets one by one now tap on this plus button and select the switch give any display name you want i am giving it switch 1 after that tap on publish turn on this allow publish then tap on topic string here you have to enter the subscriber one name that is switch 1 as the mqtt client will publish the data on this switch 1 topic to turn on or turn off the relay 1 turn off the prefix device then tap on ready here we have to provide publish value for true i am giving it 0 and for false i am giving it 1 because i am using reverse logic after this tap on subscribe option click on topic filter and enter publisher one name that is switch one state then click on ready again we have to provide subscriber value that is for true it is zero and for false it is one as i told you i am using reverse logic after doing this click ready here we have successfully configuration the switch one button similarly add three more buttons for remaining relays Now tap on done. Now we are ready to control the home appliances. Let's see in action. This home automation project has lots of cool features. Let me explain. Here as you see there is a three onboard LED. The first one is network LED which glows continuously when ESP32 is connected to the internet. Otherwise it start blinking. That indicates ESP32 is not connected to the internet. And the second one is and the second LED is server LED. This LED glows when ESP32 is connected to MQTT server. Otherwise, it will remain turned off. And the third LED is message LED. That is whenever a new topic or message comes from MQTT server, it will blink once which indicate that a new topic or message has arrived. Let me show you in action. Here I am going to turn off the hotspot. As you can see, the network LED starts blinking and server LED turns off. It is obvious if there is no internet connection, the system will not able to connect with server. Let me turn on the hotspot again. As you can see, as soon as I turn on the hotspot, the network LED stops blinking and server LED turns on. And if in any case, our hotspot is on but data connection is off. In, uh, then in that case ESP32 is not able to connect with MQTT server as you can see server LED turns off that means ESP32 is connected with internet but not connected with MQTT server let me turn on data again here you can see server LED turns on that means ESP32 is now connected with the server as you can see whenever I press the button the message LED blinks once which indicates a new topic or message has arrived. So by using React MQTT Cloud, we can control our home appliances via smartphone from anywhere in this world. Apart from a smartphone, we could also control it by manually by our regular switches that we regularly use in our houses. And we can also monitor the real time status on our smartphone.
if in any case internet connection is down or slow then in that case we still able to control our home appliances manually i hope you liked this video please like and share with your friends thank you